Hello and thank you for watching the sixth lesson of chapter 10, which is 10.6 IPv6 multicast addresses. Now we already talked about different type of communication in IPv6. We already said there is a unicast, multicast and anycast. And if you remember, unicast is one to one, multicast one to a group and anycast one to the nearest. And you should know that always the source is one. Yeah. So you have a one, one, two, something. <laughs> It can never be multicast, can never be a source. So you can't say multi uh, many to one. So it's not like he, they can join the group and talk to someone. It's always one to one to one. That was unicast. One to many uh, multicast, and one to nearest, which uh, or one to uh, one to the nearest. Yeah, which was any cost. Anyway, in this lesson, we're talking about the any uh, multicast, which is important. And we already said that we're not going to be talking about any cost or one to the nearest in the course because it's not in our curriculum, not on the CCNA side of it. And it, multicast addresses, they start with FF00 quote unquote and forward slash eight. Pretty much anything that you see with FF, it's a multicast address. <laughs> when, you, when you see an exam or anything, as soon as you see FF values in the front, that's a multicast address. Uh, if you see, for example, FE80, for example, that will be the link local address and anything, for example, 2001, and then the global unicast address, just so you know. Well, <laughs> you have them down here anyway. We already talked about these addresses before, so I'm not going to go through them. That was in the unicast. In this lesson, we only talk about multicast, and there is two types of multicast addresses. We have assigned, well-known multicast addresses and solicited node multicast. Well-known are assigned multicast addresses. For example, we have a well-known assigned multicast address FF02 colon colon 1. Now this address is very important because as soon as you enable an IPv6 on a device, doesn't matter what device it is, it's always going to join to this group. So all IPv6 devices will join to this group FF02 colon colon 1. So they will listen to that group. To me, that looks like an IPv6, uh, sorry, IPv4 broadcast address because everybody's listening. If I want to send a message, I'll send it to there. It's like a broadcast. <laughs> well, in IPv in in layer three, yes. In layer two, it's not. But anyway, that's that's a multicast address that all the devices will join to that group as soon as you enable IPv6, and as soon as you send a message to that group, everybody will get it and everybody will process it. Same, another well-known assigned group that we have is for the routers, which is FF02, quote unquote, and two. That's all routers. So as soon as you enable IPv6 unicast routing, the, the router will join to that address and it will listen. So the router will join to both FF02, quote unquote, and one, and FF02, quote unquote, and two, because the router is a IPv6 node as well. The PC is only to the nodes not to the routers because obviously they are not routers. Okay. And then we have a solicited node. Now solicited node, for example, the address, they're going to have a forward slash 104, as you can see here, FF02, quote unquote, and one, and then FF00, and then 000 forward slash 104. What happens here, the last 24 bits of any IPv6 enabled interface, the last 24 bits will be entered here on this section here. Right, so we have that's the 24 bits. You can remember the hex that is 16 bit, so 16 plus 4, 20 plus 4 is 24. So, last 24 bits they're going to be replaced in there. <laughs> uh, but this address FF02, quote unquote, one FF0, just FF. This it's hard, it's hard to remember. So, they say, okay, what is a solicited node? What do they start with? Well, you have to remember FF02. Uh, colon colon one do you remember what was that address <laughs> we said this address is all nodes so any node is going to be on that in that range so ff02 colon colon one and then i just put ff for multicast in there and that's my solicited node start and then i just put the last 24 bits so here i have a 16 bits and here i have my eight bits that will be last 24 bits there you go. You just need to remember actually this solicited node address what it starts with, yeah. But as soon as I enable an IPv6 address on the interface, for example, say I give this global address as you can see here, 2001 db8 caf1 and then 200. Well, 
200 is going to be added there. That's my last 24 bits with zeros in front. Say that I give this IPv6 address, for example, and 334444, that's last 24 bits. That will be added to the solicited node. And solicited node addresses, they are used for, for example, to resolve a layer 3. So when we resolve layer 3, which is your IPv6 address, to layer 2, for example, your MAC address. Because in IPv6, we don't have ARP, we don't have a, a address resolution broadcast, a protocol, which is a broadcast. Also, solicited node are used for duplicate address detection. Just in case, you know, we check that our address, n nobody else has that address, we send a duplicate uh, address detection, which we're trying to resolve our own address, our own layer 3 address to layer 2. And nobody should reply. <laughs> if somebody replies, then it's a duplicate. If nobody replies, we are safe. We can use that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, network. I have deleted the configuration that I've done before, so I'll start it fresh. I just put my uh, basic startup configuration there, and we'll see this router joining to what multicast groups, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the interface, so I type interface FA00, and then in there I'm going to type uh, IPv6 address 2001, 2001, db8 and you remember 2001 db8 is reserved for for us for training and so nobody should use it so i'm not using somebody's address when i type 2008 acad1 and forward slash or one in the end forward slash 64 is a prefix length and then do no shut down no shut down right now what i want to see is what multicast groups did this router join so i'll do show ipv6 interface fa00 so interface fa00 and you can see already is joined to some multicast group and we have a well-known multicast group for all nodes you can see that ff02 quote unquote one that's a well-known multicast group for all nodes soon as i enable this ipv6 is joined to that group right on this interface and then um, we have a FF02, call and call of one FF. That's that's the that's the solicited node, yeah. Zero zero one. That is your the global unicast address. One twenty four last twenty four bits is here. And then we have FF02 one FF four C eight four C eight is this one here. Last twenty four bits. It's gonna it's put here as a solicited node. This one solicited node. This is um, all nodes, but we don't have the router, yeah. So we don't have FF02, quote unquote, and two. We said that's for the routers, but we don't. I don't see that here. And this is a router. Well, yeah, it's true. But thing is that you need to enable IPv6, yeah. So once I do IPv6 uh, in the global configuration mode, so I type IPv6 unicast routing. And I'm hitting tab there just to speed up things here. Uh, once I enable this, once I enable the unicast root in here, that's gonna that's gonna give me the address FF02 quote unquote two because that says I'm a router now. Yeah. So press enter, and then I'll do again the show IPv6 interface FA00, and there we go. I didn't lie to you. We have FF02 quote unquote two. That's the address now for all the routers. And uh, I'm going to use my uh, PC, so I've got a connection to the PC as well, so I'm going to use that to show you some Wireshark stuff, yeah? So I'll close this, uh, minimize this, and I'm going to start a Wireshark. I'll leave this ICMPv6 as a filter, because I don't want to see any other uh, messages. So I'm just going to start this capture, and we're going to ping something, yeah? So let me just try and ping something. Uh, ping... Uh, I'll ping the router, 2001, DB8, ACAD, 1, 1, right? I have a reply. But in the background, you see what happened? I'll stop this. <laughs> okay, so we see what happened in the background. Right away, we had a neighbor solicitation message to the neighbor advertisement because the, the PC was trying to get the IP address of the router. So it was just saying, okay... <clears throat> I pinged, yeah, so I type ping from the PC, 2001, DB8, if I could see, DB8, ACAD, 
ACAD, it doesn't matter if you write lowercase, uppercase, it's the same, and then colon colon one, right? So the PC said, okay, doesn't matter that he's pinging in this, let's use this, last 24 bits, yeah? I take the last 24 bits, so colon colon means it's all 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 in the end, and stick it to FF02, because most likely he's joined to this group, the solicited note group, and I'm just going to send it to to that because the most likely is joined to that group one and that's that's 24 bits so you can see there it says uh, my global unicast address destination the solicited node what is expecting the router is to join to that solicited node and neighbor solicitation right neighbor solicitation well it says give me your IP uh, MAC address and now the router is using his own global unicast address and is sending it back to whoever asked for that neighbor solicitation, his reply with his own MAC address, yeah? And then we have the echo re request, echo replies for IC ICMPv6. <laughs> okay, uh, hopefully you understood this um, different type of, of uh, multicast addresses we have. We have, just to recap, well-known, these are assigned addresses, FF02, colon, colon, one, FF02, colon, colon, two, is for router and then we have a solicited node every ipv6 address that you create on an interface is going to sign dynamically a solicited node and they are used for address resolution <laughs> from layer 3 to layer 2 okay thank you for watching lesson 10.6 ipv6 multicast address this is of chapter 10 ipv6 addressing please have a look at my other videos and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel this has been asrikas nishi bye bye